We anticipated a dramatic final day in the Australian PGA Championship on the Gold Coast in Queensland and we certainly got what we were after. Let's go to the action now. And the man who made the charge today was Greg Chalmers. Have a look at this. This is a birdie putt at the second hole. Rolling one in from around about 60 feet. And that started the charge for Greg Chalmers. And he would hold a putt of similar length at the next hole. And speaking of the third, here's Adam Scott looking to make a birdie. After a couple of pars early on, putter had been stone cold for most of the week. And that was about the longest putt that we saw him hold just about all week. But he was still right up there in the mix, as was Greg Chalmers. This a wonderful shot out of the trap at the 12th. This was his third shot setting up a birdie and his march towards the clubhouse continued on and a brilliant final round michael hendry started off in disastrous fashion made a bogey at the first bogey at the second and in fact made four bogeys in his first eight holes this was for eagle at nine it was a very good attempt and things started to get back on track a little bit for the kiwi wade ormsby was in line for the biggest day of his golfing life. And this little pitch at nine set up a birdie and would take him to minus 11. And he was always up there, either in the outright lead or a share of the lead, or pretty close to it. Adam Scott's chip at nine. That helped him to a birdie and an outward nine of even par 36. And then it really started to hot up on the back nine. Greg Chalmers at the par 5 15th for birdie. Got it to minus 10 at that stage. He had a daunting stretch of holes in front of him, though. Here's Michael Hendry from just off the green at 12. Two big blows to here. Third shot at the par five. Nicely judged by Hendry. He'd go on to shoot a 71, and that would be good enough for fourth place. Boo Weekly didn't have the closing day that he was after. He's been such a welcome visitor, though. Here's his second to 13, one of the highlights of his day. But he got off to a stumbling start, probably looking forward to getting home, even though he's enjoyed his time in Australia so much. Outward nine of two over par 38. But look at this. Absolutely fabulous approach at 13 from the 41-year-old from America. Greg Chalmers. We said it was a daunting stretch to finish. He probably needed this to be looking at a playoff, perhaps. This was his birdie putt at the final hole. A magnificent round of 64 for Greg Chalmers. And then all he could do was sit and wait and see what happened with Wade Ormsby and Adam Scott. Ormsby, first of all, at the par 5 15th. Difficult little pitch across the bunker. Not much green to work with. Enough, though to get it to within birdie range and to make the birdie putt and he moved to minus 11. Adam Scott at 15. And that would take him to minus 11. Ormsby in fact moving to minus 10 with his birdie. So what he had to do was come up with something very special at the last. He holed a bomb at the final hole yesterday he would have had those good thoughts in his mind as he stepped up and made this putt at the last. Only a three would be good enough. And a three was what he got. And so when Adam Scott had this chip and it didn't go in, it turned out to be a three-way playoff between Scott Ormsby and Chalmers. And eventually it went seven playoff holes. And after Adam Scott made a bogey, Greg Chalmers did this and became Australian PGA champion for the second time to add to his crown in 2011. He takes it out in 2014. The West Australian Greg Chalmers wins and gets his name on the Joe Kirkwood Cup for a second time. Wade Ormsby and Adam Scott tied for second after a dramatic playoff.